we'll go right to questions. So, we have questions. So that's what we're for. Questions. Coach, what we're back in Dick Camp's uh, shooting night tonight, and because a little bit of the crowd maybe heard. Uh, I don't think so. I, you know, Cam's a tough kid. He's uh, he's a resilient kid. Um, you know, I thought he made a lot of good plays, even though the shot wasn't falling tonight. Uh, you know, he went out there and had eight assists. Uh, I thought he made really good plays. I thought he really guarded uh, on the other end. He had a very tough assignment, obviously, with Callen uh, and everything that he's done. He's one of the top point guards in, in the country. And, you know, I thought Cam really battled on that end. So even though the shot didn't go in, I thought he had a big impact uh, on us climbing back into that and having a chance to win. When, when you look at uh, the offense you guys were running, it seemed like it was a lot better in the second half. What did you think changed? Well, well I, yeah, I, but we also missed some really good shots in the first half. You know, I thought we had some open ones. I thought we lost our mind for about a three-minute stretch where we came down and took you know, an off the dribble on three without moving the defense. Um, you know, we drove into a pile a couple times. We talked about how selective we needed to be at the rim uh, because of Jalen Smith's ability to, to, uh, to protect the rim. And, you know, that really fuels their break. Uh, but other than that, you know, I thought we had some good looks. I thought Thor had, had some good ones. I thought Kevin had some really good ones, and Kevin's been shooting the ball uh, very well lately. Cam had, had some good looks today. Um, his second half, you know, a few of those went in. And the other thing, I thought we rebounded the heck out of the ball in the second half. That's been an issue for us all year uh, with, you know, with the size that we're giving up uh, to our opponent pretty much every night. But, you know, I thought we battled the heck out of it, and that got us out of transition. We got some loose balls. Uh, we got some deflections, and, and that got us to the rim. But you know, I thought our attack uh, in the second half was really good. When we got the defense shifted side to side, I thought we had a lot of good things happen. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. What did you see from uh, Cheatham, you know, kind of playing that, that one calf? Yeah, he was, he was clearly banged up, so what did you see from him? Yeah, he, he was, and, you know, he, he couldn't put much pressure on him yesterday. He didn't do anything in, in our practice, uh, jogged a little bit, and then last night he came over with our trainer, RJ, and uh, got some shots up and sweat a little bit. Still didn't know if he could play. Uh, did a little bit of shoot around this morning, but he really was a game time decision for us tonight. Uh, you know, showed a lot of toughness, I thought, he made huge plays. Uh, for us down the stretch, uh, you know, get to the basket, get to the free throw line. Uh, but, you know, again, Hanif is, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a tough kid and, you know, he wants to go out in a high note. This is his last uh, last year. You know, I'm really proud of our team for how we uh, responded to adversity and, you know, there's a lot of positivity at halftime. You know, we were down 13 points and we came out and, and went on a run and that's where we struggled. We struggled at the beginning of the second half, but I thought our energy was tremendous. Uh, in that second half uh, all the way through. And that's all I can ask of those guys, to go out and continue to get better, uh, continue to buy in and play together uh, for each other. I thought their transition defense was outstanding uh, tonight. It was the number one thing that we needed to do. Uh, you know, unfortunately, the ball you know, didn't go in like it had been for us. But you know, if, if we continue to do that, you know, like I told in the locker room, we just went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number nine team in the country. He's got the best uh, record and the best lead in the country right now. So you know, a lot of positives tonight for our team. For, for them, uh, Ayala has gotten a little hot here the last couple of games. What, how much of a difference does it make to them if he's able to play for them? Yeah, I, it just opens up things for, you know, especially those other two guys. For, um, you know, for Smith, you know, I thought Thor really saddled Smith. We changed our starting lineup tonight and, you know, just had Thor with his experience, try to front him and have backside help as much as we could. Uh, but, yeah, when Ayala's out there knocking out shots like that, uh, you know, it opens things up for Cowan and all those guys. They've got such good athletes uh, that can get the pain. Uh, you know, we missed a couple of times where we were supposed to gap on 10 downs and to try to keep them out of the lane. Uh, and when they got in there and we helped, kicked out, and, you know, Ayala knocked down those shots, it was a big part of that win for them. Yes, Coach. You touched on this a minute ago, but how unique is Jalen Smith's ability at the ramp to defend? Yeah, he's, he's incredible. Um, you know, Jalen is, is a guy that's got such a unique skill set for someone that size and that athleticism. Uh, you know, the defense, uh, you know, what he did against the Rutgers the last time they had a home game here was, was incredible. And, you know, what that did, I thought Rutgers got back in transition in the first half and held him to 20 points. But, you know, with his rim protection in the second half, and he keeps it in balance, you know, that, that gets, you know, gets him out in transition. So, uh, you know, his ability to step out and knock down the three when he's shooting, uh, in league play from the three-point line is, is, is pretty incredible. But, 
you know, the kid is just such a unique player uh, because of the skill set and size. Uh, you know, Turge has done a great job with this group, getting them to go out there and compete and win a lot of close games. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you.